crazy thing that many, many years ago, a very long time ago, Halo used to be the first person shooter franchise that stood up with the likes of Call of Duty uh, and, uh, and many more. Actually, it was the, if anything, Halo defined the first person shooter genre and its time and has proven when Halo Combat Evolved came out that yes, you can tell compelling stories through first person shooters. And that brought about an entire, you know, generation of games. Um, but the current state of Halo is definitely one that doesn't hold as much relevancy in both the gaming industry or even in the gaming culture. Um, and I, I think it's because of just a lot of gradual, questionable choices uh, from the developer 343 Industries. Now, I know they had a lot of pressure when they took on the helm of developing Halo games um, after Bungie left that franchise and concluded it with Halo Reach. Um, and you have to imagine the fan base being so critical and, it's, it's, you know, so... Uh, I would say demanding in terms of what they want from a Halo experience. That every time, I mean, since Halo 4 till now Halo Infinite, every single game, they kept reiterating on it, reinventing it, changing it, you know, changing its identity to the point that, in a sense, Halo kind of lost its identity throughout the years. Um, but I will be what I will say that I am a huge advocate of Halo 5. That game was amazing for me. That I'm a Halo 5 stan. I'll say that much. But the recent recent stay of Halo is has always felt for some time a bit uncertain. Halo Infinite was supposed to be this 10 year plan of a live service, but uh, with uh, a lot of promises from the developers and uh, a lot of, I would say, uh, undelivered uh, features, it has caused Halo Infinite to kind of fall under the radar. But it still holds strong and uh, the studio itself has actually just made a big announcement. Uh, 343 Industries is now going to be rebranding itself as Halo Studios, uh, signaling a significant shift in the direction of the Halo franchise. Uh, during the Halo World Champions uh, Championships, the studio unveiled a few uh, of their plans for what they're going to be doing. Apparently, they have plans for new, uh, for uh, multiple new games and confirmed that all future projects will be developed on the Unreal Engine 5, moving away from the troubled sl uh, slip space engine used in Halo Infinite. Uh, this was their in-house engine that they've been using for quite some time, and now they're using Unreal Engine 5. So. Let's talk a bit about the rebranding, the transition from 343 Industries to Halo Studios. It kind of, for me, I think it emphasizes a renewed focus, uh, a sort of identity for the franchise, aiming to reinvigorate its development approach, saying that this is going to be the studio that works on Halo, nothing else. I know we've, they've been doing it since Halo 4, but just to make it clear, this is what it's going to be moving moving forward um and the fact that they're actually going to be working on multiple new games instead of one single title title is also a big deal exploring uh, apparently several projects indicating a robust commitment to expanding the halo universe beyond a single title i think this is great because it takes forever for a halo game to come out anywhere from like five to six years and it, there's just so much there's so much hype and anticipation for this one single title to uh, exceed expectations and to, um, you know, uh, to one up the previous entry. And when it doesn't, it kind of becomes a, a bit of a disappointment. And now the most important aspect is switching to Unreal Engine 5. This is definitely something that's going to uh, leave a mark as a critical pivot in the development strategy. Uh, the slip space engine which struggled during the development of Halo Infinite has components that are outdated and had become a bit of a burden. I think this is also why, uh, I think this explains why they took so long to come out with the Forge mode or even the co-op uh, campaign mode as well, even though they promised that that stuff would have been available day one. Um, even split screen, there was no split screen in uh, uh, Halo Infinite. So you can imagine now going to Unreal Engine 5 known for its cutting-edge uh, graphics and streamlined development processes. 
uh, will promise a more efficient and powerful tool set for creating high quality games. Um, also, a few other things. There's going to be some leadership changes and also a new philosophy for the studio that acknowledges its past challenges and aims to prioritize quality and creativity over rushed timelines. I think this is a good thing. I think this is a philosophy that should be implemented in all studios because time crunch culture is never good. Even at the expense of trying to make something better, I think it's, it's best to have a game come out when it's ready instead of one that is rushed. We've seen multiple times of this happening. There's so many case studies of this. But um, honestly, if they are going to my, uh, if they are going to be switching to Unreal Engine 5, I think there's a, a few more implications and the fact that perhaps just besides the fact that it's going to be a much more improved uh, um, tool set for developing games, uh, there could be uh, the ability for the game to finally have access to a larger community um, as well as um, cross-platform potential. I think this would be finally the time that Halo could possibly find its way besides uh, Xbox and PC, but also PlayStation. Who knows? I'd like to hope that the state of uh, the, the, the state of uh, Halo, uh, you know, the future of Halo it will show a lot of promise. It, despite the bumpy road that was Halo Infinite, the fact that the studio is still adamant to prove themselves and try to undo the wrongs of the past is always... It's always, for me, a, a very optimistic uh, train of thought. And it gives me hope that the future of Halo is still here. You know, uh, even though it's not as relevant as it used to be, it still holds some relevancy in the gaming industry, in the gaming world as a whole. But what, what do you guys think? Do you think that switching to a new engine is going to be a, the big game, cha game changer for this franchise? Or perhaps it's just not enough? I know a lot of, a lot of fans out there have been... Uh, demanding Microsoft to bring in another team or bring in another studio to develop Halo, but uh, they're here to stay for quite some time, and hopefully the decisions they make could help future-proof the franchise. Hopefully. Well, only time will tell. We're going to take a short break, and we're going to come back with more news from the world of entertainment, so stay locked and stay tuned only here to the Evening Buzz. <laughs> 